They say the plot was to spread cyanide, one of the world's most lethal poisons, in police dormitories and canteens. Now Indonesian authorities have arrested 16 men to bring their attack plans to a halt and confiscated guns that were disguised as pens. These suspects are trying to get revenge after police captured and killed their leaders, such as Dr. Azari, Norden Mtop, Irwa and Dulmatin, to uphold the law. Indonesian police forces appear to have become the favoured targets of militant groups. The police have had some success in their anti-terror campaign. There have been no major attacks in Indonesia since the bombings of the Marriott and Ritz-Carlton hotels in Jakarta in 2009. But police haven't been able to end the violence entirely. In fact, several of those arrested were well-known fighters with suspected involvement in other attacks as recently as last month. And one of them, Heru Konkoro, has been wanted since his alleged part in the Bali bombings in 2002 that killed 202 people. The group Jamaa Islamiyah was blamed for that attack. The man said to be their spiritual leader, Abu Bakr Bashir, is expected to hear his verdict on related terror charges in the next few days. He says he's innocent. I think a lot of this is part of a larger scare campaign they're engaged in, try to, I think, intimidate the government, because don't forget Bashir uh, is on trial, and the verdict is due on Friday. Um, so I think this is probably a part of a larger strategy to intimidate the government uh, as we approach Friday. The Indonesian government has invested a lot of time and energy trying to disrupt the activities of violent groups. These latest arrests are part of that campaign. Rosie Garthwaite, Al Jazeera.